Hello everybody and welcome back to Alan Wake. Sorry there was no video yesterday, but uh, uh, Diablo 3. Yeah, Diablo 3 happened, so. And, and it happened, you know, it released and I spent all day not playing it because the servers were down. And there's no offline single player, you know, how it is. <gasps> oh, we're gonna start the video with this. Awesome. Hey, shut the hell up. Wait. Tonight's episode. The dream of dreams. Eh, that's by someone else. Oh. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his highness over there is good and ready. Oh, wow. Who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything. All of this. But wait, no. I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Isn't... isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. Sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream. And the girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. Bah! 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 Confused dream. What am I? A shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys. And they say that's the guy doing the dreaming. Right there. I don't know what that means. We need to it go deeper. We keep him happy. No sudden falls. We make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public. No chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy, but his legs don't seem to get him anywhere. None of that. Because if he wakes up in a cold sweat. Oh. Yeah, precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Hey, something. Something's happening here. Yeah? What's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God help us. It's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man. I got a wife and kids. Please don't wait. <laughs> okay. That was strange. Couldn't really see it. I don't know if that was intentional or is it because it's bright ass light I got, but whatever. So, now that uh, we've just lost the 10 people that watch my videos, they were like, what the fuck is this shit? Boring. <laughs> Click the X. <gasps> Coffee thermos. And now I'm talking to myself. Should I go upstairs? I should go upstairs, because we haven't wasted enough time yet. Exploring. <gasps> is that a manuscript page? It is! Awesome! <laughs> we just watched some TV. And now we're going to do some reading. <laughs> Enjoy. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the heaviest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. Uh -oh. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. <laughs> okay. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Is that a subtle hint? It was actually not too subtle, you know. Oh, it's broken. Never mind. There's something over here. It's memorabilia. The old gods of Asgard. The 1975 Ragnarok tour. Be awed by the celestial wrath and fury. Damn, that's awesome. Anything else up here? Uh-oh. That didn't sound good. Whoa, it got all trippy. Okay. Anything spooky out here? No? Okay. Oh, you son of a bitch. Is there something behind me? No. Get away! All 
Alright. Oh, okay. Nope. I somehow, somehow I expected that. Hey, how's it going? Not, not too well, I imagine. Because you're kind of getting shot in the face. Did you... Did you not just see me blow the head off of your three friends? The heads. The head? Blow your three friends' heads off. You know what? No. I'm using a shotgun. This is not the time for English lessons. Alright? The shotgun doesn't give a shit about your English. Alright? It speaks one language. That language is fucking violence. Come here. I got some violence to dispense on you. Where are you going, asshole? Hey, Speedy McSpeederson. What do you say? Uh, it doesn't matter. Did... Wait. Did... Hold... Did... Did he just, like, run into that electricity and die? Or did he just teleport away? Because if he just killed himself, then... I don't know. That was kind of hilarious. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Hey, yo. So, I'm not going to make that mistake. Oh, fuck me! Okay. It's time to back away slowly. It's time for a flare. That's what it's time for. I don't have any flares. Son of a bitch. Nope, nope. Flashbang. That's what it's time for. Okay, get away. Get away. Flashbang. <laughs> the hell just happened? Die, please. Ugh. Ow. Asshole. Nope. Just keep on coming. Is that thing going to fly at me? Or is it just going to sit there? Oh, son of a bitch. Ah, fuck it. I don't want to waste my damn batteries. <laughs> I have max batteries and I don't want to use any of them. Because they're mine, damn it. That's uh... Okie dokie. Wait, where am I going? There's a light over here. Oh, right, right, right. So what's over here? Nothing. Okay. Never mind. Uh, oh, I guess I'm... Never mind. I get a feeling we're going to get arrested at some point. Wow! Those geezers had quite a production going on. Ooh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm going to start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm going to take a closer look at this stuff. Roadhouse. Oh, I think I'm supposed to go this way. All right, so, uh, <laughs> what's over here? Nothing. All right. You know, I think it's my new monitor, The why, why everything is so bright now. Like, it's uh, it's got like a ridiculously brightly brightness. But, uh, it looks damn good. So, I, I tolerate it. Do 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 solve the problems. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> because he was in the hay. <laughs> you okay, Al? I'm yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Open, okay. okay. He was hiding coffee back here. Woo. All right. So what, why do none of the lights anywhere ever work? Wasn't that one lady going around changing the lights everywhere? So, you know, why is she slacking? I gotta ask. Oh. Just in case you didn't find the last one, I guess. Uh... Can I dual wield flashlights? Oh, come on, game. Golden opportunity. Just 
missed. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night. <laughs> not the only one. I don't know why I turned that on. I'm just going to walk away. A couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. No, 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 no. Go away. Stop it. Stop it. No. Whoa. Interesting. Stop. I don't want you. Oh, fine. Um, is this an elevator? It is. Okay, good. I could see the building that had to be the Andersons home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned down geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. Wait, is it really necessary to kick that, Alan? Like, really? There wasn't any other way to open it? You're just kicking things for the sake of kicking them now. Come on. You you like the whole roadhouse shtick. I want my items, damn it. I'm supposed to go out here? Oh, I am. Okay, so. Let's explore this building a little bit more. What's, what's this door? Let's oh, see, so you don't want to kick that door, huh? Why can't I just, like, climb over this? Whatever. Whatever. Ugh, oh, God. This is gonna suck. I know it's gonna suck. Oh god. Oh god, what? You've got to be kidding me. Oh god, oh god, what? Oh god, oh god, what? What the hell? Oh. It's a thing. <laughs> I didn't know. I thought the whole fucking building was coming after me. Where the hell am I going anyway? Ow. Over here? I'm confused. I think I am. That that door doesn't open. Um. Am I supposed to open the door? I don't even know. Luckily, none of this stuff is very threatening. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I mean, I don't know, it's totally under control. It's not opening! Oh, flare. Can I kill it? Am I supposed to kill it? I think I might. That might be what I'm doing. Oh, he ran over his friend. Oh, have a flare. All right. Ah, oh, fuck balls. They just respawn. Interesting. Ow, you asshole. Am I supposed to kill it? What am I doing? I think I am. Okay, but there are dudes behind me. Do 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 do. It's gonna take forever. Hey, back the fuck up, buddy. Demon block. <laughs> Demon square cares not for your frivolous attacks. I'm not going to kill them because it's just going to spawn dudes behind me. Ah, dodge, dodge, asshole, dodge. God damn it. Oh shit, don't, don't, don't back over me. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Demon square. Does that thing even show up in the recordings? I'm not sure. What? Fuck off, I just killed a goddamn thing. That was big. Is that a fact? Look, let's just... I'm just gonna stand here and... Let it slowly drain away your darkness. Because you've got an axe and I've got a gun. So... I think we know who's gonna win this fight. Thanks for playing. Don't ever come back. What? Oh. <laughs> Damn. That is some badass shadows. Pretty. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Oh! 
Oh, come on. Come on, game. How awesome would it be to just smite the shit out of all these bastards with a freaking sledgehammer? Ugh. Like, tie the flashlight to the end of it? Oh, that'd be badass. Yep. Damn, dude, you missed it. Wait, what the hell? Oh, it's a key. I thought, I thought that was the door that <laughs> that we couldn't open, and it just like opened. Oh, this isn't even the right fucking building. This is the building, right? I knew uh, that. Al, is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me. Hang on. Hey, let's go, man. So, uh, is this thing gonna open now? We're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. It's pretty heavy. Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. Yep. Valhalla. Kick ass. Come on, one more gig. Let's do this thing. Hmm. Uh, the old gods know the truth. Is there anything else out here before we go in? Because I get the feeling it's going to like trigger a cutscene. Although, to be fair, usually when that happens, I end up losing all my things. There's, there's nothing out here. Let's, ugh. Let's just go in. Wasting time. Waste in time, although to be fair, that is what I'm good at. Yoop. Yoop. The broom of the old gods. <laughs> Cowers, they sweep away the, the lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. Cretans of peasantry. The power downstairs was out. But I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. The power downstairs oh. was out. I was like, I was sure I how, that at the fuse box. how is this relevant to what I'm looking at? And then I realized it was like a record player. That's probably what I'm looking for. Oh, did they like leave their messages backwards in their heavy metal music? Oh, that'd be awesome. Please tell me that's what it is. What am I looking for? I'm, I'm totally like not listening to myself. Get! What the hell? Is this Skyrim all of a sudden? Am I freaking... Followers standing in the doorway. Oh, damn. Is that a gold record? Kick your ass. Oh, my God. So much coffee. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Was that another subtle hint game? Yeah. I don't think they keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. They Come seem on, to slip Al, away a lot so they can go wasted. No kidding. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Oh, I want to be there. Fuse box, fuse box, fuse box, fuse box. Can you hear that, Al? Find the lady of the light. Of course, we need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talk about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, uh, yeah, the crazy, the crazy bitch. Lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right. You must be.
That's just awesome. Okay. So like they they made this find Cynthia Weaver. We'll back in the 70s and head back to town as soon as it gets light. And it's like relevant to this and guy now, in the present. Dawn, oh, it's awesome. We'll get some rest. And by rest, that's awesome. I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is Yeah. What the hell? Oh no, don't do it. It's like made of darkness water. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, you're like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. <laughs> if I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. <laughs> but I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the last hour of this game has been incredibly awesome. A, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Uh, is that like a good passed out or a bad passed out? Okay, it's good passed out. And this is where they get arrested? Right? Clearly, because we know it's going to happen already. Oh, uh-oh. Uh, uh, what? Oh, interesting, interesting. Right, right. This would be the thing. Get to the cabin. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. No! It was a crazy drunken dream. Help! And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. Alice? Alice! Yes, I, I remember all this happening. Hey! Hey, I knocked that over! Inconsistency! My immersion is broken! Ugh. Oh, right. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past Ooh. self to find out uh. what had happened that night. <sighs> I was gonna I jump. Thinking, I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. Diving <sighs> after her Let was the jump. last vague memory I had of that night. <sighs> after that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. <gasps> I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice. Alice. And so she had me. Alice! I'd been easy. Done, done, done. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. Uh, hey there. How's it going, creepy? Creepy darkness. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You'll laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. Um... Alice? Well, maybe we... She's maybe we should here. go up here. You were foolish to think so. No, wow, she's Wow, what a bitch. Dead. She drowned. No, no, no! 
It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. Okay. Seems pretty straightforward. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. All right. All work and I'll no play. Ugh. I'll bring her back. Hey, don't look at me. Yes, I said don't look at me. No, I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. But really, I was just writing a really Even shitty book. The cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. To bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish. To interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zeng was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. You must get in your car and drive off a cliff. Thank you, Big Daddy. <laughs> Like, I know he was a diver, but why? <laughs> I had woken up, confused and groggy. My mind consumed by darkness and fear. I can't <laughs> take this seriously anymore. <laughs> oh, God. That was, the, that was the funniest fucking thing I've ever the seen. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> it had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. Thank you, Mr. B. Just like Max, except with less disfigurement. I it's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Oh no! I didn't see that coming. This is gonna be the the song. Is it? Yeah, it is. I want to hear it. This is the end of the episode. Unless you want to hear the song. You just end it now.
Awesome.